right, good morning. A beautiful shout out to everyone who has always made it a point of duty to tune in to Galaxy Television every day. Wow, it's another beautiful morning. And all praise to the Almighty God for giving us this privilege. We are not taking it for granted in any way, and we also appreciate the fact that you are always there to receive us into your homes, on your mobile phones, while you are while you are in your offices. We appreciate the fact that you are always there. My name is Adijoke Abubi David. My friends call me Ulori AJ. How is your home? How is your family? How are you doing? Are you doing great? Because it's when you are doing good. And when you're happy, that's when your family will be happy. I'm not here alone, as you know. Joy Girl is here. How Good morning. <laughs> you still are yellow vibes, don't worry. Well, today I refuse to be... Um, I, I don't want to talk so much because <laughs> I see it as intimidation. Good morning to you. <laughs> Welcome to Family and Values. My name is Joy Abu. Of course, um, Olori has already said it. Today is a wonderful day. Thursdays are healthy Thursdays where we discuss everything about health and family and values. As we round up the year, we want you to stay fit, to stay healthy. Um, okay. Yesterday was yellow vibes. Today you carried on the yellow vibes yeah. without me. No, you it's still fine. have the yellow. It's, it's fine. Still, it's still orange. But you yellow. see this rich vibes you're giving me this morning. Okay. In fact, don't worry. Just viewers, my, my movie ticket is in here. That's why she's a rich auntie. Yes. Now. Yeah, don't worry. You give vibes. them a breakdown of the movie by now. I will. I'll do, I'll do a review to you. When, <laughs> after watching the <laughs> movie, I'll come in and do a review. Don't worry yourself. So tell me, how have you been? Yesterday till this morning. Um, fine. How healthy have you eaten? Um, no, this period this I've been season. Very, no, no, no. To be honest and kindly, this season I've been very, very healthy in terms of eating. I've cut down on a whole lot of things like carbohydrate drinks, carbonated drinks. I've done a whole lot of cutting down. If you know me, you know what I'm talking about. But does about. that mean you have been eating healthy? We need an expert to Yes, I've been eating healthy. Because let me tell you for some time now, um, eating has become a one-time thing for me this season. One-time thing because by the time you get to the studio, you get out of the studio, maybe you eat once and you have a whole lot to do throughout. Maybe drink, 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 you know, more of liquid, drinks. yes, mm. and water. You know, we got that. And mm. water. Yes, and um, by the time it's night, you know, I, I don't know what to eat. Anyway, the, 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 the hamatine season already gives you that um, uh, application to always be hydrated, and so you consume liquid. more of liquid. And But we, when we tell you consume liquid, we are talking about water. Water is good. Drink Very water good. and mind your business, yes. as we are minding our business here on yes. Family and Values. Yeah. Okay, today is another exciting day because we have... A doctor in the studio that will do justice to our topic and we are bringing something that you would not want to miss something that is very important to you important to everyone as a family mm. as a whole and so that to guide you into the new year we are streaming across all our social media platforms please download the galaxy mobile app so that you can watch us on the go go to our facebook channel go to our youtube go to our x drop your notification turn on your notification button please drop your comments it's important let's know give us those questions so that we can give you answers um we'll go like i said how well do you eat healthy hmm. when we talk about healthy diet what comes to your mind is it that you try to um i'm not eating much i eat little i eat this much what is it all about what is contained in healthy diet how you know how can you manage eating healthy and yet it's not costing you above <laughs> what you have in your account we have a doctor in the house he's none other than dr africa Ugliani. he's a medical practitioner is the um ceo of med Maid healthcare and he's right here with us this morning compliment of the season good morning season. doctor good and morning welcome Joy. it's Hello. so good to good see good morning good morning it's wonderful sitting between two beautiful um, ladies yes. <laughs> no, the, the bible says blessed are you in the midst of women <laughs> and blessed is the what the, the size of your no the size of your pocket because your <laughs> money start going down more of and course, more. You know, you're, you're, I pocket. love that the size of your that, pocket. That's interesting. <laughs> now there is this saying that um, 
Health is wealth. Is it true that health is wealth? Yes, health is wealth. Health is everything. Because if you look at it on a normal day, if you are not healthy, you cannot go about your day-to-day -day activities. That's mm -hmm. number one. If you are not healthy, you end up spending money for people like us. So imagine you depleting your financial base and you are saying you are accumulating wealth. You are accumulating debt. Health is wealth because if you are healthy, you prolong the days you spend on earth. And if that happens, tell me where and how will death be locking around unnecessarily. Hmm. So I tell people one thing because um, I think in the scriptures, they say cleanliness is next to godliness. godliness. And you cannot be clean without having a good health. So even to know God, your health has to be paramount. Yes. Because if you are not fine, there's no you are going to praise God. Whether you are a Christian or a Muslim or African traditional religion person. So that's just it. Healthy diet. We're looking at healthy diet this morning. When we look at healthy diets, we look at it like, Jamie, it's for me to know what I have to, how I need to take uh, carbonated drink, how I need to take Gary, how I need to take um, the carbohydrates, the likes of the pounded yam, the solid meals and all that. Uh -huh. So by the time I know how to put that, is it all about putting it or all about quantifying it, all about consuming it? What is healthy diet? Oh, Lori, thank you so much. <coughs> There's one beautiful thing about we Nigerians or Africans. When we look at food, they tell you, ah, I need to get balanced diet. I need to eat balanced yeah. diet. So they'll be like, okay, for my fat and oil, there is palm oil in the soup. Mm -hmm. For uh, my mineral salt, there is salt and there is seasoning, what we popularly call uh, Maggi. Now, I tend to see that at times and I look at people and I laugh. What type of fat and oil are you putting in the food? Am I communicating? Yeah. So it is possible for your diet to be balanced and not healthy. Okay. But it's not possible for a diet to be LD and not be balanced. Okay. 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 Am I communicating? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you look at it, except you are not interested in the nitty gritty of the whole thing. Although I'm guilty of some of these things I'm about raising. Uh, many of us like this. I have many at times they'll be like, okay, you want to eat Amala? Ah, I want Amala. Give me a goofy. Give me Bokoto. Give me this. It is not how rich your plate is that makes it, that makes it LD. Mm. Mm. It is not how much or how full your plate is that makes it LD. Mm. It is what and what comprises of that, that plate helps. that matters. Mm. Am I yes. making any yes, sense? Yeah. And if you look at it further, um, Joy, I'm very sure this is it. Uh, your kids will be like, ah, let me give them cake, let me do this, let me do that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Because I think there's a place in the Bible that I even spoke about, uh, that should be First Corinthians, I don't know, First Corinthians 10, 31. Okay. It said that, whatever you eat or drink, do it to the glory, of, it God. To the glory of God. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Even in the Quran, uh, is it Al Araf or Arif, I don't know, chapter 30, 31 too, it spoke there, I don't know, it's funny, that fill your stomach with one third of food, one third of water and leave one third empty which is whatever you consume whenever you consume however you consume there should be proportionality <laughs> which means god himself knows you being ld is tantamount to him being praised does you say god why ah my my have a, my blood pressure is Hi, my heart is palpitating. God, do I? No. <laughs> Instead, you'll be saying, God, I bless you. I want a healthy being in total. Okay. Of course. Um, um, now, I'll take you to the part that I'm guilty of, and I want to ask this straight up. Okay. Caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm saying I'm guilty because yes, I'm a lover ah, of coffee. Yes, yes, I love coffee. And sometimes, too. not sometimes, I grew up loving coffee, coffee because my dad loved coffee. So, till today, coffee is one thing I don't know how to do away with it. Now, is caffeine good? And in what proportion? Is there a quantity one can take? And in addition to that, what kind of healthy snacks can one actually have? Mm. Okay, let me start from the healthy snacks. There is no snack that is as healthy as you taking fruits. Okay. 
you know what I'm asking? What I'm saying is that rather, when you talk about healthy snacks, there's not there will, there will not be flour, there's not there won't be sugar, there's not there won't be a particular oil base in it. I'm not saying this to tell people not to patronize those people that sell snacks. Yeah. There's always a day One of you those cheat those or you decide like to cheat. indulge oh, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I always advise people to do is when you think, oh, I need to grab a munch and it's like snacking, do fruits, do vegetables like cucumber. Hmm. But they tend to help you more than you consuming donuts, consuming meat by stuffing yourself with it. And don't forget those people making those meat pies for instance they will want to make profit so they need something to tie you down which will be the seasoning used in preparing the meat pie and when you are oh this meat pie is dope it's delicious it's sweet ah i need to get another one you are caught it's just like smokers those that smoke cigarettes people used to shout ah it's the nicotine it's not the nicotine alone that ties them to it they tie in the cigarette hmm. and that's why they say Smokers are liable to die young, but yet they smoke. And some will tell you, oh, I've been smoking before you were born. Did I die? Now, back to caffeine. Hmm. Um, I think <laughs> someone sang a song. Is it uh, the Gode Rush? The essence of caffeine, I tell people, is there's nothing like you are enjoying it, mm. it's you are addicted to it. Okay. So, you've made it a kind of a culture, you've made it a kind of uh, an act, you've made it a kind of a way. And caffeine in the morning increases the BP, it seals it up. Uh, yeah. okay. it, it, wait, I will explain something. Just like a, a driver that wants to jump start his car. Mm. You know, when he wants to jump start, especially those manual cars, there's a way they lay. When they push, yes, you, have to, you have to pedal. Yeah, 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 so that's why it's kick. So, good. Now imagine you trying to uh make i'm sorry do I'm, I'm trying to no, read no, out i i love no, the no, way no. So that we, because we are we are learning we are, I, we are making I'm a lot of coffee too so things. it makes it now, in, now imagine a generator that has been down for a while okay. there is no fuel or the fuel is not much in the tank i need to put on that generator by force by fire especially those ones that they call i big past my neighbor mm. when you feel you know when the fuel is about going out, out. it starts making yeah. brrr, but the power supply will still be produced still be yes. so that is exactly i think i know that caffeine does like it's there is no how you take it that you'll be up i can remember my days in the university then people would drink coffee to stay awake hmm. because they want to read yes now can you now understand one thing in what i'm trying to paint that that coffee makes them stay awake because it disrupts a particular biology that controls the sleeping which means hey. caffeine is like in chemistry there's something they call catalyst that speeds up chemical reaction so reaction. caffeine will just bring bring it, it up. once i used once. to be guilty of ca uh, coffee because um i have a family ritual with my dad back then we always finish a big, um, what they call it, flask of, of coffee. coffee. Black, no sugar, <laughs> no, no, sugar milk. no milk. Black and that's coffee. where we burn over it. You know, you cup, you lift it up. Oh my God. And you very the hand, that as I was saying, you press it. <laughs> I can relate to what you're saying. Ah, you, press again. you, you know, there was a time I called you that I felt like sometimes it's like, I feel like falling off. And I asked you to take and, coffee and tea. Yeah, and I said, I take coffee. And what did I tell you to do? Stop it. I stop it. I still think it. <laughs> wow. It's a life confession. <laughs> now, it's a lesson for us. Please watch it. Limit it. Uh -huh. So, now, I want to ask, what's the difference between probiotic and prebiotic? Gang, gang. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> now, um, Olori, I will do a kind of an analog. Please. Um, you know, from god is i always tell people something god is a wonderful person for those that believe in god and for those that it is that there is no god yeah. whatsoever that created them mm. is a beautiful person <laughs> yeah. because it's surprising the way god configured and made man am i making sense yes yeah. you are because he did in such a way that there are there's something we call gut flora, like these guts. That's the digestive tract as a whole. 
God kept some things there that will enhance and enable processes to be done accordingly. Hmm. That's number one. Number two, uh, Nigerians didn't really get to understand or know about these probiotics until they started bringing in all these general D, food supplements, food supplements. blah, 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 and the likes. But personally, I'm not telling you not to take food supplements, but I always advise people, whether you want pro or pre, everything is enmeshed in the food you eat. It's just for you to understand how it works. You do it and you go by it. Mm. Food is good. But if you overeat, there's a problem. Mm. I can remember when I was young, I think I was in the primary school, that I saw the food and plantain happens to be my, I would call it my fetish or my whatever. I don't know. I love plantain up to now. <laughs> so then, Confession. so then my mom, may I so rest in peace, was fine plantain, you know. So I had to, we like call it steel or fab. I don't know. I should took some. I ate. <laughs> so when she caught me, she waited for some days. You know what she did? She now fried plenty of <laughs> You know all those trays they put. Ah, in those days. You know all those trays they put. Multala mame. Yeah. Like, those round stainless. Not stainless. stainless so it was metal. It was metal plates. Yes, yeah, so I'm like. Titans. Tray. She now the plant was there. Seven up of those days was something. Uh, you are doing that for seven up. No, 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 no. Of those days was something you would not drink, and take two bottles. Mm. Like when you open it, the CO two. The, so the CO2 the inside gas, was, was, was out of this world. She kept two bottles beside it and told me eat. Mother she helped me to remove my clothes. <laughs> so I ate and ate and ate. I said, like, you must finish it. It is your own. Ah. It, that was when I knew food could actually cure. Hmm. And ever since then, just for a day or two, it was as if my tummy was in a world of its own. Wow. And only I got constipated. You, only you. I'm going to the probiotics, whatever. Now. I don't go constipated. Now, when I go constipated, that means the, my digestion was either altered or stopped mm -hmm. at that particular point in time. So I needed something to do what? To kick it into action. So the way I overloaded, or the way my mother punished me with overloading of plantain, of plantain fried one, not even roasted, fried. Mm. I know in those days they fry it to be brown. Yes, yeah, so and they brown. smell. Ah, Jesus! Oh my God! I can't forget. The way I overloaded <laughs> <laughs> myself that day, they stopped the peristalsis of my gut, hmm. so it was just stuck, and I was like this. Hmm. I couldn't sleep. She couldn't sleep either. So back to what we we're saying, ma. They will tell you, ah, when you do this in a day, it is fine. When you use these probiotics, you will be beautiful. You will be this. But all these things exist in our day-to-day -day meal and fruits so what, and vegetables. So what we just need to do is ensure you don't need to be rich to enjoy pro and pre. You don't need to be rich. You just have to be sensible. Get yourself a cucumber, for instance. You can do one cucumber for two days. You already have it in your system. You can do your cucumber. Okay, let me do one today. In two days' time, I do it. I want to talk about vegetables in Nigeria. What we would know as vegetables, what we would call call for. Mm. Mm. Am I right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. It's what we call it for. We don't call the same, all these lettuce and the likes no, no, vegetables. No, no. No. It is a for. Now imagine a pot of soup made by you having spinach, um, amaranthus, that is a for tete, and shocker family. You mention it the natural way. Okay, a for tete. A for tete. Gure. Uh, uh, good. Ah! Bure, okay, Bure. that one that grows everywhere. Uh -huh. Bure, shoko, shoko, ugu. ugu, like four or five vegetables you know? in a pot. Mm. You have been able to do yourself something beautiful. Beautiful, it's always sweet. <laughs> Nobody will check whether you added fish or meat. Mm. But if God blesses you, you put small onions. fish. Onions, you can add onions. Uh -huh. Onions will give you that oh flavor. My. You won't even know what is inside you that yes, finished so. it. So if you can endeavor to have this your meal or your food to be this packaged hmm. i put it to you uh you make people like us poor and we go hungry because you won't be coming your healthy diet stops you from having all these non-communicable diseases hmm. now if you now want to go on a cheat mode you now had small exercise to it 
I now drink water. Gas what are those non communicable okay. diseases? diseases. Okay. Why For instance, you? now, um, Joy, I know you wanted to ask me a question. <laughs> Sorry, I will get there. <laughs> <laughs> like diabetes mellitus. Hmm. Although, medically, if there is a positive history of diabetes DM in a family, you are at risk of having it. But at risk does not mean you will have it. Hmm. Don't forget, hmm. at risk. Doesn't mean you have. have. You might and you might not. So for you not to have it, you require you running away from artificial sugar. But unfortunately, everybody, oh, I'm tired. Soda. Uh, America cola today. Pepsi cola to, in the afternoon. You are mentioning. Oh, sorry. Those. All these sodas. I'm sorry. I just, All these carbonated, carbonated drinks. drinks. You just pour it in your mouth. <laughs> I'm guilty of that. Then you get that sugar <laughs> rush. Once you have the sugar rush, and the energy is activated. You are back. Mm -mm. You are killing yourself gradually. Um, people will tell you, ah, I cannot do without eating bread and butter. Ah, bread and mayonnaise. It is delicious. But what you are doing is you are loading yourself with unsaturated fats. Hmm. Saturated fats. And when you load yourself with such, check, even palm oil at room temperature, it it uh, coagulates. It uh, hey, I don't want to use solidify. Hmm. It coagulates. That means, imagine you eating uh, butter when you are spreading it on your bread or anything or yam. When you put it, it is it's like in a solid form. When it comes on it, you now swallow it. We should just reason in a very funny way that is it not possible for this thing I just consume to now go somewhere in my body and continue its solidification? Oh. Especially in the blood vessels. Oh, so what you just do is when it comes, you just start clogging the blood vessels. And your blood that tends to be pumping on the norms, like yeah. a roller coaster, like dancing, zancro and everything there. You now start looking for a way to go. And then pressure will start building. Then they'll be overloaded on your heart and they'll not be wahala. And then people like us will not start eating um, and making money. I want to ask, we are fond of hearing um, eat food rich in fiber. Okay. And um, you cannot, if you meet a layman out there and say eat food rich in fiber, they believe maybe the particular kind of food they need to eat. Yes. Could you throw more light on it and take us through the types of food that are rich in fiber that okay. is pocket friendly? And then to add to that, because I want to combine two questions. When you talk about kids, there is this general saying that kids need a lot of sugar to grow to ex because they burn so much of energy. Now, and we've had cases of obesity as a result of all these things. How would you want parents to have a diet that is balanced also for kids? Now, let me start from the latter question. Yes, kids. This is beautiful, like beautiful. Let me ask you a question. When you were growing up, when they don't give you candy, mm. did you die? No. Ah. We, we hardly saw candy in those days because before you have a candy, that means it's, it's, it's a festive period. Like or someone's you know, birthday. Or someone's birthday. <laughs> Correct. Now, what I'm saying this is this. You don't need to load your child with artificial sugar before he gets the needed sugar. Okay. Carbohydrate, for instance. Hmm. When it breaks down in the body, it yeah. eventually becomes glucose. Yeah. That is why in people with diabetes, they tend to advise them that, okay, when you are consuming carbohydrates, this is the volume you consume at the go. Hmm. This is the time of the day you consume it. For instance, if it is consumed in the morning, before the day runs out, it's possible the calories has been burned, the sugar, the glucose has been utilized. So now in a child, how do you give your child sugar? There is yam. Am I right? Yeah. Yam has fiber in it. All these tubers, they are rich in fiber. Mm. Cereals, not cereal, what we call cereal in pack, all these processed uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. flakes yeah. and other sorts. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's what we call, they call cereal. I know. But cereals like your rice, and if you look at rice very well, now there is brown, there is white. Brown, 
people tell you brown rice is expensive. No, brown rice, your father is brown rice. It's, it's good. Apart from it being delicious, and that's the <laughs> scintillating smell. Yeah. I won't call it odor. <laughs> that when you cook it here, yeah, everybody oh, no, will perceive that, ah, oh, your father is happening somewhere. <laughs> It's actually delicious to eat too. Okay. It has its fiber. Now these abukis, I mean, uh, sorry, the northerners, they make. If you check most of their drinks, they make from millet. Mm. Yes. Millet has its so, its own fiber. source of fiber. It's rich too. Mm. So instead of we drinking all these yogurts, flavored drinks, why not do such drinks? And enjoy. Okay, we'll, we'll start making all the likes of Zobo and the likes. It's hmm. so natural, and you can know the amount of. But don't forget, you are making you. your Zobo, the sugar that and you are putting. That's what I'm saying. That uh -huh. you know the amount of sugar. The sugar. You add to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it will not be in excess. You know, it's, it's, it's coffee, really coffee. Be careful yourself. Now. <laughs> Joy, your fetish must oh. <laughs> like this. Your fetish must. I'm already feeling bad because now make I'm, any other solution. Africa. Sometimes I don't take my breakfast. I just leave it. I may not take anything until like twelve or two. And I think Joy also experienced this. That's bad. Now, That's bad. Is, is breakfast important? And how much water? Amount of water is needed in human body for a day that you're going in to a drink. day yes okay um breakfast is not important it is super important ah. mm. okay joy did you see what i said yes no hell the did emphasis you see? on super <laughs> now let me tell you why uh most people normal people normal not abnormal people like some of us most people sleep Nine ten at night, and they wake up. The Muslims wake up by five because of their prayers yes. and because of the uh, sun kere fa kere in Traffic, Lagos. So you wake up they wake early. up early to leave home. Am I communicating? Yeah. The period you are sleeping, your body system didn't shut down. Your body system was busy working. It's just like the clock. When you hang a clock. You don't get to hear the tick during the day. Oh. But at night, you start hearing tick, 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 tick. <laughs> letting you know your clock is working. It's still the awesome. same thing with your body. You are only sleeping. Oh. So when you now wake up in the morning, your glucose level would have gone down. Your body would have utilized what is meant to be utilized. Like your body will tell you, apati lo sapa, eseti lo sese. I'm sorry, I, I, maybe already will help me to, uh, how do I explain it? Please don't bring that one, it. you can do it. Aha. <laughs> it's just like, okay, uh, inheritance. They would have shared everything needed to be shared in your body. Anything. So you now wake up in the morning, and you now go out without your food. Mm, it is dangerous. Or the quality scale, yeah, like they'll say. So, or the very, very risky. Or the very, very dangerous. The better go. Or the quality dangerous. Not a go. Aha. I'm going to tell you very well. So if you are going out, you need to eat. Because when you eat in the morning, it gives you a lifeline for the day. And don't forget, your digestive enzymes will still be active. So if there's no food for them to work on to supply your glucose, they start dissolving other part of your body tissues to get the required energy. Oh. And that is why most people tell you, uh, okay, for instance, pep uh, osa, the usual osa we shout about, osa, osa, osa. Mm -hmm. Good. Apart from those caused by H. pylori, Helicobacter pylori, the most prevalent one in this country is gastric secretion induced ulcer. Everybody tell you, ah, wait later. I'm fasting. We can fast for the world in this part of the world. <laughs> but your fast should not become something that will now become inimical to your body. So, Lori, back to your question. Even if you are not eating that morning, grab something. It could be two slices of bread. Let it be in you. Like, I advise my people on a daily basis, if you want to drink water, ensure you drink at least three liters of water in a day. In a day. Because when you drink water, 
uh, your kidney will not be loaded. It will be performing its function beautifully. Excreting what is meant to be excreted. Am I communicating? Yeah. Check. Anytime you don't drink water and you go to pee, what is the color of your urine? It's not always white. Like of yellow. Yeah. Uh -huh. But when you take water, dehydration, take water, yeah. which means when you are dehydrated, it's just like when you soak your blanket inside water and you bring it out, it will be heavier and fuller. Am I right? So imagine when you now try to squeeze it, or when you squeeze your clothes, for instance, after washing, it gets rumpled. That is what happens to your cells too when you don't drink water. Hmm. Hmm. Enough water. Yes. Like if I used to say, <laughs> Omito Ogun. Which means water, water is life. medicinal. Mm. Water is life. If water was not life, God wouldn't have told water to gather in one place. Mm. Why, according to the Bible, and even Yoruba mythology, when um, Odudua came, Odudua Tewara, it was water that had to be contented with. So what I was saying, mm. some people tell you, ah, I can't drink water, but they can drink soda. Ah, I can't drink water, but they can drink yogurt. Ah, water is not tasty in my mouth, but they drink energy they drinks. Drink. Killing themselves. Can you will learn? Okay. Um, <laughs> as, as we gradually round up, now we are, we are, the essence of this topic is so that people will have healthy diets on a low budget. Okay. So that it doesn't seem like anytime we talk about healthy diet, it's only the rich that, that we believe or perceive it's can healthy, afford it. can afford it. Can you take us... Um, through the three process of foods that let's say breakfast lunch and dinner just minimal for someone on the streets how you can have those three meals Together. your breakfast your lunch your dinner and it's healthy with just what you can find within your environment okay huh <laughs> well has removed his glasses. no why i removed my glasses is this um although i'm an ijebu man okay and um i would have to bring uh we are the originator of economics yeah? <laughs> so i need to bring uh, uh the economic aspect jebunomics 101 out <laughs> into play. play um let me start with this anybody that has ulcer for instance and wants to take food should run away from anything citrus Mm. Citrus, you mean orange, orange, tangerine, apples, tangerine, yeah, pineapple, the big gram, uh, so yeah. anything yeah. Citrus. 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 So now imagine if I don't have money and I want to plan my meal, am I doing mama put? Am I buying food? I'm talking of a regular meal. Good. If I want to do my breakfast, I can do ogi, pap with akara. That's cheap, yeah. I guess. Because you can buy an ogi of 200 naira, although if you are the type that likes every food, yeah. you might decide not to do ogi. Okay. You do bread, yeah. akara, akara, water. Now yeah. let us break it down. Akara has onions. Protein. Akara has beans. Mm. Protein. Am I right? Akara has a little bit of pepper. Oil. oil. Onions are vitamins. I've already okay. said that one. Okay, okay. That's how you fry your akara without putting salt. Yeah. Am I communicating? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now we come to ogi. Ogi is carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. That's five, yeah? That's how you make ogi without putting water. Okay. How many classes of food do we have? We have about five. Six. Okay. There about. Yeah. So you can see. We've been and then the milk. The uh, <laughs> you said pocket friendly. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes yes. you may not Hot have milk. Uh, actually, yeah, actually, is actually a I don't really subscribe to, to milk, milk and, and all those ones. But, but that's a perfect breakfast. Fast. Okay, let's Bread and akara and water. Without Ogi milk. and akara and milk. water. That is breakfast for lunch. You know, in Nigeria, the economics <laughs> has made us to do one zero one. Am I communicating? Yes. So, m most people, their breakfast, they pushed it to become brunch. Breakfast, brunch, <laughs> lunch. So, if you know. it is now said that the person had brunch, you said according to the street the person. Street street person uh -huh. yeah. So, what we need to focus on will now be the stop gap mm. till evening. Okay. Or night, or night when supper or dinner will be, be served be good now in the middle you could only let us assume he had ogi in the morning mm -hmm. for instance he could just grab all these hundred and one fifty naira loaf of bread if he had ogi in the morning 
with a bottle of water and granite or peanuts. Hmm. Hmm. That is snacking now. Yes. That is lunch now. Hmm. You can't take Gary and Rick. Uh, <laughs> you'll be at work. Most people will be at work. It doesn't matter. Some people do take Gary to the office. Ha! Keep it in your yes, like keep it in your locker. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. We're not, we are typical Nigerians. You are a Jebu man. Thank yes. God you say in Jebu. Me, I can so do. there is no way you get to an Ijebu office. A man, a woman who is an Ijebu will definitely have a bit of Gary or you know in the locker. Oh, no, you are we are exposing our yansh on <laughs> yes okay. because i am a lover of gary oh, oh, yes. so so now let's go to the to last, the last the one. One. The supper. Supper. supper supper fine you are sleeping you make little eba hmm. and water leaf soup mm -hmm. which is bure mm -hmm. or if you cannot and bure is cheap very cheap very very although cheap. i don't like it but it's cheap. Yes, you buy pepper leaf, hundred naira. You buy uh, what I leave, maybe two hundred naira. That's three hundred. You buy locust beans. Um, hundred naira. Yeah, that's yeah, four hundred. Uh -huh. Then palm oil. I don't know how much how they sell palm oil. All those uh, ones they tie nylon. Four hundred, one fifty. Good. But palm oil is not so healthy. Mm. But this part of the world where we are, it's not possible for us to get sunflower oil and all those ones. So mm. what we have. We it's get it. Oil. So you buy palm oil one fifty, and maybe one woman beside and your you house fish. that sells fried fish, uh -huh. you buy it. Or even crayfish. Uh -huh. Put it inside. Just Nobody put... knows what you are eating. You eat. With what? With eba. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the funniest thing is, such soup, they call them. Um, I think they they used to make it pade mi or whatever. That when you put your eba inside, it will start coming this way. So. What people now do is they just. Mm, mm, mm. But you can also take it with. Um, wheat. Wheat. You can even take rice. it with your rice. Yeah. You can take it with your rice. So. so you know you can also take it with yam. Ah, yam and buri. Ah, ah. ah. It's vegetable. Doctor, you know, <laughs> when you gave it's us this vegetable. For those that suffer from bloating, that once they eat something like that, they find it difficult to sleep at night. Like. They can't take anything heavy once they see. Yeah. How do such people, or what is the such. timeline? You say, okay, if you're the type that suffers from bloating a whole lot, once is this time? 6 p.m. <laughs> okay. 6 p.m. Because you still have time for you digestion know, to walk before you sleep. You lie down and sleep. Anybody that sleeps 6 p.m. Ah. I don't know. It's it's. I, I think it's impossible. No, it's, it's really, it's not. I want to ask another question. Okay. How healthy is eating chocolates? Hey, super. Because some will tell you. Wait, oh no, it's super <laughs> duper not healthy. <laughs> because some will tell you, um, <laughs> I need a choco drink. Super duper not healthy. <laughs> not even warm. Super not duper cold. not healthy. I love chocolate the is too sugar. <laughs> it's sugar. <laughs> No, no, let's be realistic. Okay, so now if I want to take my meal, I should make sure it's by 6 p.m. I've had my meal. And it even reduces, it reduces you adding weight. Mm -hmm. The risk of you becoming obese mm -hmm. and all those ones. Then is it true that when you don't exercise and you don't have activity around you and you consume, you hard? Now, I will just paint this picture. Imagine your house grass grows weed you have a lot of weed in your compound okay am i communicating yeah. now will that house be infested by rodents and dead or not of course it will that's that is it it's not possible for you to eat and not exercise or do something if you can just sit down bam how will your body Utilize the food that has been eaten by you. Hmm. It's just like you putting fuel in your generator and you are not starting the generator. How will the generator produce light or power supply? Yeah, Doctor, alcohol consumption, before we <laughs> sign you out, <laughs> alcohol consumption. And um, I know people were waiting for us to ask this question yeah. now. For those that they'll tell you, the doctor says a glass of wine is not uh, um, bad. Is not is bad. Not bad. So the medical doctor, actually, yeah. red wine. So tell us how healthy is red wine or white wine? <laughs> and when I mean and alcoholic, alcoholic consumption, I'm talking about the spirit, the spirit, the everything brandy, that, the vodka, whether it's two percent, the one percent, as long as there is alcoholic um, content in it. Let me tell you something. Everybody believes alcohol is a way to enjoy life, and that the quality 
or the uh other the price of the alcohol you take reduces the risk now like alcohol now alcohol check when i check my go go now go go no i am serious okay because alcohol is a stimulant mm -hmm. it's not possible for you to drink alcohol and your body will be mm -hmm. normal mm -hmm. there is going to be a fine tuning or an increase or a kind of a uh let me use the word in music crescendo in your system mm -hmm. now tell me anything that does that have you ever eaten before and you feel like jumping up or standing on your head as food ever intoxicated you <laughs> no ah! rather eat, i want to go to bed <laughs> i want to but rest. alcohol when you drink alcohol it gets whether gogoro whether shekpe whether vodka whether wine whatsoever there is a way you feel as if ah yes my eyes are opened i can now see even red wine olori they tell you a cup of red wine hmm. yes now how many of us know where those wines were manufactured mm. wines are meant to be made from grapes under normal circumstances yeah. am i committed yeah. grapes are fruits mm. fermented fruits. fruits yes but all these wines we drink mm. they are bottled brought in preservatives everything added into it you don't know where and how for instance recently in the news there is um how do i call it they are busting yeah people fake, making fake, fake, drinks fake drinks in the okay. corner of their room imagine water from one Umbudi river they'll put it oh put man. ethanol put flavor cook it and tell it is one expensive wine and wow. you buy it i'm sure we've uh. had a wonderful <laughs> brainstorming episode today on family of values Thank you, Doctor. It's a pleasure, ma'am. Thank ma you so much for training. So life. good. I know, it's a pleasure. I know we'll have more of you around from time to time. G God willing. And yeah. God will continue to keep you and continue to keep med made. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. God's grace. Amen. A big shout out to my daughter. She's 18 today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oluwa, Shemilori, Damilola, Petra, Happy birthday to you. Tell your mom to give us our own share of cake. But you said we should not eat cake. Ah, she didn't say so. So, no, I said um, there's a cheat period. <laughs> yeah, a you cheat drink period. water with Gary and granite. We have plenty of that to celebrate her birthday. So if you want to join us, meet us here after the program. On that note, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has made today's program a success. Thank you to the almighty God. We love you. We appreciate you. Please keep allowing the comments to come in. Continue to like our page. And we'll be looking out for you. Ashim Menolori Alajoke Olori AJ. Girl. Yes, like we say, Thursdays are healthy where we talk about everything about health. Today, trust me, I've learned to. I'm going to sit down and you know do <laughs> make some adjustments. Yes, so no, just a part. I'm very important. Do some adjustment because I need to stay healthy so that I can serve you better. Please go to our Facebook page so that you will not miss episodes like this. Download the app and always watch us on the go. The next program is up on Galaxy Television. My name remains Jay. I mean, yeah, it's very it's Friday. Thank God. It's yeah, Friday. The weekend. It's Friday. We'll see you Friday. tomorrow. The last Bye. Friday of the year, anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Bye. Bye. <laughs>